So, power crews done and dusted. Ended up going out Friday and Saturday. Obviously no pit pass, so limited use and look, limited budget. So we took it pretty easy. Just wanna give a rundown on, so on everything, like taking it easy and still, you know, that overall to do two days with maintenance and you know the little bit of breakages or whatever I did have and just tires and so on and so forth was probably still a fifteen hundred dollar to two thousand dollar weekend and that's including like not running a pit pass which obviously you can factor another thousand dollars into that and copious amounts more fuel and tires if you want to burn them up so on and so forth so you know this game we play is not cheap and i just like to let people know that it's not you know keep things real um it's fun don't get me wrong it's a lot of fun we love doing it, that's why we do it, but you can't do it all the time. I went out again today, I'll throw some footage up. It's not a lot, I was just out there for a few hours with a friend of mine, and it's really relaxed. No car to stress about. Just watch some shit, you know, watch a few skids. Completely missed the uh, off-street drags because we were over having a bite to eat and a chat. And um, watched a bit of the afternoon session and it was really chill and relaxed. And look, my entry, I'll give a bit of a rundown of what was entailed. So I always buy an early entry. It's $155.50 or something. That's your three days. You know, you can go the Thursday and set up if you want. And then you can buy camping and all that sort of stuff on top, or you can buy a pit pass and so on. But I just, I buy the $155 entry. And then later on, if I choose to get a pit pass, I can at an extra cost. Um, you know, sometimes I pick one up at the right price because somebody doesn't need it. Um, other times it costs you a thousand bucks for 1100 or whatever it is. I didn't this time. And 155 bucks, like, yes, you have to go out the back and line up and it takes fucking forever and you don't get a lot of track time. But if you're smart, you get there really early on a Friday, you get out there, you get lined up, you get a couple of sessions through the Friday. Saturday is always gonna be a nightmare because everybody goes Saturday. It's five times bigger than Friday and Sunday combined, probably. It's crazy. I tell everyone, if you wanna go for a drive and passenger stuff, get out there Friday. Like. There's that many people that don't have people in their cars that you're gonna get a ride. Like, guaranteed, it's the best day to go. The The second best day is Sunday. Like, wait till the afternoon session. You know, as you'll see in this video, there's no one, not no one, but you know, instead of there being 800 cars left and entered, there's 300 cars left. People have broken, people have bailed, you know, they come from Sydney, they come from out west, they come from up north. They're bailing on their way to home. So it leaves people with free time there. Like you can get so much track time on Sunday afternoon that you'll get your $150 worth of value. Like if you're just going to spectate, you pretty much get your value. It's a hundred odd dollars if you buy a three day spectator pass. So, and if you've got a half decent car, your car's entered, you can drive it inside and chill. You don't have to park out in the bush. You know, have some drinks in your car, some soft drinks, some food or whatever. Like, save your money on, on that. Like, it's $16 for a hot dog. So, you know, I'm frugal these days with stuff because that's how I choose to live my life. I don't work too hard. I find a bit of a balance as people you know, out of YouTube, my mates and everyone on other social medias. See, I'd rather be down the beach with the dog, you know, or doing a car event than being at work, you know. I don't have kids, I just have my dog, you know. So, 
it's my car and my dog and that's all that I'm really worried about. So I don't need a million dollars in the bank. I'd like it if anyone wants to sponsor me, that's fine. Let me know. But um, yeah, life's not about that for me. So anyway, getting back to that. So $155 for entry, that gives you three days entry, you take your car on your track when you can. Now, if you've got a, if you wanna do the events, that's worth $150 right there. You know, you wanna do power skids, you wanna go and do off street. You don't have to be the fastest car in the world. It's good fun. That's what these events are for. They are fun. You know, if you wanna be super competitive, you can be, but you you know, this is not what they are about. Um, and they're certainly not about that for me. Like anyone who knows me knows I'm just out there for a good time. And sometimes that good time gets a little bit rusty, you know, cause it, it is taxing out there. Anyway, so 150 bucks for for entry. Um, my car needed a little bit of maintenance, nothing major prior to it. Uh, so I put a battery in it. We put a starter motor in it, me and my mate Dan. So that was, you know, 600 bucks there to get it so it could, it could come out. Um, I probably should have done fluids, but I thought I'll do them afterwards. You know, in this car, it's a high performance car, it gets used a lot. Fluids are expensive. It's $150 for a five litre bottle of oil or thereabouts. You know, it's $40 for a, a oil filter. Like, you know, so you may as well say two bottles of oil by the time you top it up and use a bit while you're out and about and then you get this idiot that forgets to put his oil cap on and <laughs> goes and does three off street, you know, sub seven second passes on the you know the eighth mile or whatever whatever oh, queensland raceway is and you know spits fucking oil out the thing and misses the thousand horsepower cruise again because of being a nafty but it's part of it so and then you know like 50 bucks in transfluid or something like that so that's a 400 dollar exercise just to do the oils and it's not like your daily car where you're gonna do that every 10,000 Ks. Like I do that after every major event or two and a half thousand Ks, depending on how the oil's looking. So that's a factor. Um, toasted the tires, like these tires, I got I think about 3,200 Ks out of it, which is unreal, like for what they are, like the heroes and the PSRs, whatever you want to use, for what you put them through, they are unreal. I also did a couple of power skids at the Prodigy Day. So, you know, you can't expect them to last forever. And realistically, they're cheap for what they are, but it's still an outgoing cost. You know, it's it's 600 bucks for a pair or 700, depending on, on what you're getting. Um, so I'm up for, for new tires. Uh, I did brake pads again because these things chew through brake pads like it's so hard to find something that even holds up to what we've got as um as people other people found out on the weekend um so you know there's a couple hundred bucks there and then you got fuel like i drove the car out and home friday and out and home on sunday so 150 bucks worth at 85 both days like each day and um 50 bucks worth of 98 each day as well just to just to top it up and get to where i'm to where i need to be so it's 400 bucks worth of fuel so you know 600 for the battery and starter 150 entry and 400 bucks for fuel oils you know three or 400 bucks brake pads 200 bucks like you know, there's, there's 1500 bucks there, easy. Um, you know, and like I said, that's a light weekend, a very, very, very light weekend. So, you know, some of, some of these guys that are going out, it's a $3,000 or $5,000 weekend, you know, and Power Cruise, once again, it's a fun event. So you're not walking home with big prize money unless you're one of the burnout guys or, you know, um, take out 
no prep or something like that. But there's, you know, there's a few hundred bucks here and there, but it's not a lot of money. And that's, that's not what it's about. So it is what it is. It's a great event, but sometimes we need to prioritize in life. And this time is one for me. You know, I also, I also need to maintain the car. Like the car's got some rust coming out, needs paint work, needs interior tidying up. Done about 7,000 Ks since the last freshen up. These cars need to be maintained. Like you don't have to, but it's going to cost you in the long run maintenance is the key and as i said before in the other videos my engine has done a lot of work that's why like i argue with myself all the time whether to put more boost in it make the thousand kilowatts or wait it really needs a set of rods and pistons i put a crank in it last time because we had um we cracked the crank or had stress cracks in the crank um didn't do it put ls7 heads on it like spent enough but in hindsight, should have done rods and pistons, you know, especially with where it's gone now in getting parts. It's, everything's gone up and they're harder to get hold of. Is what it is. The next time that engine comes out, which will probably be within about, you know, probably about 10,000 Ks, we really need to check springs. You know, if you're going to start pulling bits apart, you're going to throw a new oil pump in it, you're going to pull the cam out, you're going to have a look, you're going to check lifters, you know, all that little maintenance stuff. If it gets that bad and it's half pulled apart, it'll be completely coming out and probably getting a bit of a bore and better rods and pistons. Like, like, then I can wind it up a bit. Not that at this stage with my suspension set up and the way the car works, I can probably put a little bit more in at top end, but then I'm out of brakes anyway. And as we've seen on this weekend and many other weekends, like shit can go bad really, really quickly. And you know, like, I don't even want to get into that, but you know, these cars, we're pushing the limits. We're not in a brand new car with ABS and, you know, safety features and so on and so forth. So, you know, we're doing the best we can with what we got. And, you know, that's half the fun, don't get me wrong. Like, that's that's what we do it for. It's adrenaline, it's fun. But, um, yeah, you know, we're always looking at finding out better ways to, to make little improvements. Like, not just on going faster, but suspension and you know like making what you have work the industry and performance side of things like you know power cruise base like no prep off street sort of stuff you know like corralban kenda 660 like the drags like roll racing all this stuff people are pushing the limits in these cars and it's great you know like where we are now is unfathomable compared to where cars were five years ago to 10 years ago. Like every year, like I was up there with, with them and I didn't get to race a hell of a lot of fast cars this time around because without that pit pass, you're limited, you know, they're all already out there and they've come back in, they're letting their cars cool down. You know, like a lot of people out there don't realize the stress that, you know, you can have a 700 horsepower car and go out and cane the guts out of it and have fun. You know, go out there for the full 20 minutes and run amok, not have a single issue. Like these cars, when you're pushing bigger horsepower, you know, you're making converters work and you, you know, and this is all stuff I'm only learning. Like, you know, I used to cane the crap out of my lower horsepower cars and loved it, you know, and don't get me wrong, think why am I not back there doing that? because they are a world of fun, but also speed is addictive and you know, it'll, it'll, it'll get you, it'll get you in. Um, but yeah, the, everything, everything has come so far. Cars are so freaking fast, you know, great races, great fun, but it all costs money. You know, like we can't be at every event. like. So anyway, like, 
I'm a pretty open book. I think I've said it a million times, you know. But I want people to understand why I make the decisions I make, you know. I'm also trying to get this YouTube thing going, which I just enjoy doing it. It's great fun. I love putting videos together. Some videos pop, some videos don't. It's that's that's YouTube. Um it gets me out enjoying more events. It gets me out of my shell a little bit like not many people realize probably like actually pretty introverted sometimes cover it up pretty well in certain situations um but yeah even just doing this for the last six months nine months whatever i've been doing it you know gets me pushes me to interact with more people like I don't mind interacting with people and especially respectful people like you know one thing I don't like with people is people who think they deserve something when they don't you know like show respect for to people and you know and get respect it's pretty simple like there's times when people are approachable and times when they aren't you know there's there's things that are going on so get you know give people some space and, um, but yeah, don't be afraid to ask them either, but be respectful if they say no. Like, like we are sometimes out there testing our cars. Like we're not too sure on what it's doing. You know, it might be a weight thing. You know, we might've dropped suspension heights and, you know, more weight in the back will cause tires to rub and do this and do that, you know, or we might want weight in the back. Like a lot of these events are a chance to test your cars. It's not like the old days where we used to test them a lot more in other situations that you can't really get away with anymore. So, you know, luckily we've got a lot more opportunity with track days and stuff to do that now. And, um, but yeah, just be respectful. And most people are, don't, don't read me wrong here. Um, you know, most people just ask you and if you, you sort of tell them, look, I can't, then they understand that when they're hitting you up for a ride. But um, you always get that, the couple of people that just don't read body language or anything. And look, that's that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, anyway, a wrap up from the weekend. I had a ball. I really did have a ball. Like hats off to Gup, you know, or and the whole crew, man. Like to put on an event like that, that thing was huge. Like, I'd hate to be in their shoes. I really would. Anyone who wants to bag out putting, you know, anyone who puts an event on, go and put your own one on. There's plenty of places to do it. And let's have a chat about it after you do. Let's see how you've gone. Because it's not easy, man. Like, I don't know what the entrance numbers were this year, like, but it was massive. It was massive. Bandag Bullet was there, you know, all the burnout cars out running amok, like no prep stuff. Like it's a nightmare, a nightmare of a thing to put on. And he does it. It's not perfect. Don't think you'll ever get a perfect one. It's impossible. Um, you know, takes everything in their stride, makes it happen. You know, that there was some pretty serious things that happened this time around and they do what they need to do. And once that's sorted, you're back and going again like hats off to hats off to all of them that are involved you know like you know i had my little whinge about not getting a thousand horsepower sticker initially we got that sorted through a mate uh and then it turns out i didn't make it anyway so you know say la vie but once again we're dealing with humans it is what it is you know and it's a common it's it's with me, it's never one thing. It's a combination of things. So, you know, it's, a, it's the old straw that broke the camel's back. Like, it's, you know, I'm a pretty pretty go with the flow kind of guy. Always have been. But sometimes you just need a break. Because when you have a break, you realise, you know, what you've missed out on. And you're keen to get back and do it again. Anyway, this is me waffling on, like most of you is probably 
won't even get this far. If you have, you know, and you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy my videos, like there's only gonna be more and more videos come. Hopefully the quality just gets better. Uh, I play around with a few different things. So, you know, some of them are gonna work, some of them aren't. It's like, I watch plenty of YouTube stuff. Some of the videos I switch off halfway through. It is what it is. Other stuff I like to watch all the way through. You know, if you enjoy it, subscribe. You know, chuck a like, share it to, to your mates that might enjoy it as well. And um, look, it goes a long way, you know. Like, you don't make a lot of money on these these things, but, you know, in this day and age, every cent helps. So, you know, I really do appreciate it. Like, I respond to all the comments I can at this time because, obviously, you know, I'm just getting started. So, it's not out of control. But I like it. Like, I like doing videos. I like the interaction. It's fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it, you know. And yeah, it G's me up to to keep going and try different things that I possibly wouldn't have tried before and making a video about it. So um, yeah, please share around, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff and just enjoy the videos. And if you've been listening for this long, thanks for listening. And um, I don't know whether I'll mix in the videos from today or not. It's not a lot of footage, but I might just mash it up here at the end and you just can enjoy it. But however I do it, I hope it was good. See you guys. Thank you.
as always thanks for watching that's uh three days of power cruise all wrapped up hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and share these videos check out the other two power cruise videos have fun guys thank you